Well, good evening, everyone. It's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Uh, officially, the start of spring. So, um, what am I doing tonight? I'm sure you can tell. A bit of seed sowing. Let's have a look, shall we? So, it's the 21st of March, and I'm starting my squash tonight. So, um, first off, got Turk's Turban which I haven't grown before, but uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Creates a round uh, dinner plate size squash um, that has the protruding center out of it. Uh, looks exactly as name is. It looks like a turban, uh, although more brightly colored. Then I have uh, Yuki Kuri, which I grew last year. They're nice sort of round, um, Squash, a uh, common name, also onion squash, which again describes better the shape of the squash you're getting. And believe me, um, you get absolutely loads of fruit from uh, a singular plant. Next, I've got uh, butternut squash. So this variety here, Hunter, um, that's the variety I grew last year. Uh, had a couple of squash that got to about a kilo in weight, but on the whole, most were probably about three quarters of a kilo ish. Um, from let me think, uh, from four plants, no, six plants, we ended up with 22 fruits, I believe it was um, basically a whole crate worth. And actually, tonight we uh, nearly finished up the last of it in uh, soup. So that's a very good um, grower and it's bred for the UK climate or cooler climates. Another one that is also being bred for the UK climate is this one, which is called Sweet Max. So wanting to try that this year. And this one is uh, reported that the fruit can get up to three kilos in weight. So that could be quite, um, quite something to see. Uh, reckon that it's sort of two to three fruits per plant. So yeah, definitely will be interested to see that. Um, so I'm gonna grow both of them just as a, a straight off fight out comparison, if you will. Um, so then I've got some uh, Dills Atlantic Giant seed from last year, uh, or remainder of seed from last year. Did pretty well for me, although, um, well, it was so hot that they kind of stopped growing, so uh, didn't do as well as hoped. And then these two have got uh, saved seed. So this is Dills Atlantic Giant um, seed saved from last year from my own pumpkin. So I want to see how that compares to straight Atlantic Giant as to you know, which does better. Um, certainly which gets bigger size and then this is uh, seed saved from pumpkin big max uh, which it gets a reasonable size nowhere near as big as uh, dills atlantic but uh, you do get a lot of fruits from a singular plant all of good size so still growing that one and so really as i say today is the start of growing the squash uh, I always start by writing out le the labels first and I'm um, literally I'm just going to sow three cells per variety no more than that because quite frankly you don't need more than three plants of any one of these and in fact when we get down to sort of the pumpkins when it comes to planting time well I'll thin that down to just having one plant possibly two one as a, a bit of a backup of each variety so three three cells of each variety and that'll be me done so let's get sewing so i just uh, thought i'd show you by starting off with the dills atlantic giant so that's what the pumpkin seeds look like nice golden shiny let's pop the others down there for the moment so the best way to grow squash or to start them off is rather than putting them flat like you do with all the others. Pop them on their side and then push them down. So slightly more fiddly, but um, 
you get the idea. So then push them down about a centimetre down into the compost and cover over. And that just seems to aid with the germination. Um, I think being on the side allows the seed, uh, let's show you, allows the seed to split cleanly, which in turn allows the roots to go down and the shoot to come up. Okay. So I just wanted to show you this actually, so this might be of interest. These are the Dills Atlantic, and that's the seed that I sowed last year. This seed is from the uh, Dills Atlantic pumpkin that I saved last year. Look at the difference in size. So, yeah, I'm not sure whether that will equate to a bigger fruit than that will do, or what, but actually, all of them are far superior except for that one that's dead but yeah in terms of size miles bigger let's see okay so that's all of the squash sown um because the turks turban only five seeds in a packet so i've actually done five cells worth of those but um yeah essentially that is all the squash done now to uh, get them in the propagator and uh, I'll see you when they've uh, germinated. So here we are one week on from uh, sowing the seeds and I thought I would show you how they're doing. Um, as you can see, we've got the butternut squash, sweet mix, hunter, um, pumpkin, uh, big mix, Dills Atlantic, Dills Atlantic, squash, Yukikuri, squash, Turks Turban, courgette green, and some courgette solo. And all germinated quite nicely, as you can see on most of them. Both seeds have germinated or germinating. Um, so at this stage, I'm going to take them out of the heated propagator and they'll just be. Um, well, stood down, obviously still inside the warm house and uh, UV light on, not that it really needs them, but um, the light will sort of help reduce the stretching. But uh, essentially that is it. And we'll just leave those now to, to grow. Once they get first set of true leaves, then it'd be a case of cull, whichever plant looks the weakest. So you can kind of see, say like here, where we've got no, one really good strong plant and one weak plant. That will most likely continue to be the case. So that one there would end up getting removed and uh, discarded. But uh, yeah, as I said at the uh, first part of the video, each their own, you know, whether you want to separate them out and plant out each one that actually grows or um, discard it's entirely up to you and um, it's your seed you're free to do whatever you like but for me i will pick the winner so to speak and discard the weaker plant and so that is it that is first stage of the pumpkin and squash seed sowing complete Obviously the plants have germinated, they're going to be moved into the cooler area, but still with the light on. And really that is how they're going to sit until we get to the next stage, which will be once the roots have um, ventured to the bottom of those cells and then they can be potted on into a one litre or 13 centimetre pot. And really, um, it's just a case then of whether you keep potting them on or you get to planting um, time for your allotment or uh, greenhouse, wherever you're choosing to grow. But um, what I'll do, I'll add on some links for the pumpkin or squash videos that I did last year. And then at least you guys can see sort of the next follow on stages rather than having to wait for me to do another video on the ones in the background. So yeah, hope you liked the video. If you've got any questions, then uh, please send them to me. Always do my best to answer them for you. If you do like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. 
It's always good to get some new um, people on board asking different questions. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out future videos that I'm doing. And I always say it, but most important, have fun, enjoy what you're doing and look after yourself. So till next time, bye for now.